This weekend, my friend came up to visit. We went to an antique store. We went to two antique store and a military museum. The military museum was in the basement of an antique store. It was very strange. There was so much like Nazi stuff. Ew. <laughs> so that was a lot. And then we went to some antique stores. There was a lot of cool stuff. I love going into antique stores just because of the amount of weird stuff that you're like, hmm, this is weird. But I didn't get any knickknacks. I got some books. So this is a book haul. Here's my bag of books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Matt came home from uh, getting some groceries uh, and I didn't know if it was him or a neighbor so I was being silent. <laughs> yeah, I got this big stack of old sci-fi. There was another big stack like this right next to it at the store uh, and I was so tempted to get it but uh, it did have some books that I already have read. So this was $12.50 and then with tax it was $13.51. Let's get into it. So I guess I'll just start with the one on top. It's falling apart. This is First on Mars, The Robinson Crusoe of the Red Planet. And it's from Ace. I think all of these are from Ace. So most of them are Ace sci-fi but um, there's one that's not. Very excited about this. I might want to like try to fix the binding, like rebind them. Rex Gordon, is that the author? Oh yeah it is. Okay. Uh, so First on Mars has a copyright date of 1957 and then I got a um, double feature or double book. <laughs> this one, the cover I fucking adore. Uh, it is We the Venusians uh, by John Rackham. Terror Quest on the Misty Planet. A copyright date of 1965. The Water of Thought. Drink, Earthman, and all will be revealed to you. And it has this old guy with a skull and, you know, serious face and I love pulp art. This one, also 1965. <laughs> I just saw the cover and oh my god! Dude, look at that cover. Is that not the best? Oh, did you see this cover? Wow. <laughs> Isn't he your style icon? He is so Dude, sick. Dude, look at his chain. That's Hell yeah. I want a chain so bad. He's such a soft, like, doe-eyed boy. <laughs> um, so it's called Mankind Under the Leash. Was he the only man to challenge the Star Masters? And it's by Thomas M. Dish. Copyright date of 1966. Uh, and then, oh my god, Planet of Exile by Ursula K. Le Guin. I've heard such good things about Ursula Le Guin. Uh, but I've never read anything from her. Yeah, I'm so excited. I didn't even know that this was part of this haul. <laughs> uh, this says, Le Guin's creations rank with the best. Oh, this is so ripped. I feel like I'm like actively destroying it. This one's also 1966. The Void Beyond and Other Stories. Um, this is again a double feature. Uh, this was originally 35 cents. Um, this was by Robert Moore Williams. This is copyright 1958. Uh, but this book is actually in fairly good condition. So it's like some dudes on the outside of a spaceship. And it says, Amazing Tales of Future Super Science. And I wish I studied super science in college. <laughs> wish I got my master's in super science. <laughs> the other one is also by Robert Moore Williams and is called The Blue Atom. Its tagline is, Who controls it? Controls all. <laughs> Let's see, also 1958. I'm so excited about this one. It's draining to the center of the earth. Books. Books. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about books. Let's talk about books. <laughs> Matt came back with laundry. He has fresh sheets for us. It's very exciting. But yeah, Journey to the Center of the Earth. A new modern translation. Modern as in copyright 1956. He has like a trucker hat on. Modern. 
Yes. <laughs> it, it is modern. <laughs> it's Ashton Kutcher. Honestly, it kind of looks like him. See? Modern. <laughs> and this was originally 35 cents. How much was it for all those books? 12.50. 12.50. How many books did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Definitely marked up. It's, it's a dollar fifty. It's kind of expensive. Book. These are fucking amazing. I'm so excited. I don't read. I like to watch moving pictures. So it's like I've already read. I've already read that. Feel how soft and clean it smells mm. and feels. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Can I do the rest of my book haul like this? Sure. <laughs> no, okay, here you go. Uh, Ooh! This was edited by Groff Conklin. Real Life Aliens. A real Life Alien edited that book. So this is the science fiction omnibus. That's got all the science fiction in there. This is the one that's not an ace book. This is Berkeley. And this is a Thrilling Tales of Space and Time and All the Wonders of the Universe. Here is a superb collection of science fiction masterpieces by some of the top authors in the field. Uh, it looks like one of these pages is... Oh yeah, it definitely fell out. No! So, one of the pages is loose. Of course it's the one by Ray Bradbury. Uh, I just shove that back in. Oh, Isaac Asimov! Yes! It's got these weird spaceship things. And this is copyright 1952. And then the Berkeley edition is from August 1956. Uh, the best from fantasy and science fiction. The ninth series, edited by Robert P. Mills. Um, <laughs> got a four star rating by Galaxy. I'm guessing four stars was the highest amount of stars. It has this really great, like, colorful set of names on the back. Uh, there's a chimp, a robot man, a suited man, and a Since weird glowing much. monster. Um, and then the last one is another, the best from fantasy and science fiction. Oh, fantasy too! Fun. I hope it's mostly science fiction. Fun. I don't really like fantasy that much. Fun. Um, edited by Avram Davidson. It's got another great list of colorful names. This is from uh, 1961, 62, and 63. Some of these people's names are super definitely fake. Penis Ed Largeman. But this guy's name is Edgar Pangborn. Wow. I've never heard of the surname Pangborn, but it also doesn't sound very impressive. <laughs> I'm Ed Edgar Pangborn. Fear my monster of creation. <laughs> you choose, you two. <sighs> Which do you think my pillowcase should be? Diamonds or yellow? Um, I hope you enjoyed this. It got a little hec hectic towards the end. Why? <laughs> I hope you uh, had fun with me on this adventure that we call life. Ow! What the fuck? You deserve that. <laughs> what the that fuck? we call life and then you fucking barrel the camera. <laughs> you dweeb. Oh, what? Okay, goodbye! <laughs>